Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The RFI for the light tank of Indian Army was released in April 2021. The acceptance of necessity for the same was granted by Defense Equation Council on 22nd December 2022. The approval includes acceptance of necessity of seven light tank regiments each equipped with 45 tanks. As per AON, LNT will build one regiment of light tanks while other six regiments will be under make procedure open for other private players. In April 2023, the Business Standard has reported that DIDO has placed a development order with LNT to build the first prototype of the light tank which is seen as an answer to Chinese Type 15 tank. DIDO is the lead development agency for light tank in partnership with LNT as development come production partner. The design and development of light tank is being pursued under project Zoravar. In an exclusive interaction to Financial Express, the Jayant Patil, member of Executive Council of Management, Advisor Defense and Smart Technologies to CEO and MD of LNT, has revealed a lot of information related to the light tank. The LNT has initiated the concept design of light tank in 2019 and began discussing the same with DIDO. The basic design option for the light tank has been finalized and after multiple iterations, simulations and reviews to make the design robust, the hardware production for the prototype was initiated in June 2022. The prototype assembly and integration began a few months back and is currently in an advanced state. The light tank will be ready for internal trials in coming months and in just a few months. LNT expects to conduct technical trials and user-assisted tests and trials in plains, desert, and high-altitude mountainous terrains thereafter. Having been associated with extensive trials of K9 Vajra in high-altitude mountainous terrain, LNT has gained invaluable experience and the same has been factored in the design of light tank while the design was being evolved. It is relevant to note that the K9 Vajra high-altitude version Adaption was pursued Suomoto through in-house research and development efforts and offered to the user. This proactive effort was rewarded by user by ordering the high-attitude kits post-trials. Knowing the well-set MOD process, the light tank order should be a reality over the coming 2-3 years horizon followed by the serial production. The DRDO's light tank design was much under wheel and was unveiled during Defense Expo 2022. The light tank will have an indigenous design and not based on K9 Vajra chases as being speculated earlier. It will have approximate combat weight of 25 tons. It will be manned by crew of three and can be easily transported via air, rail or road. The tank will have amphibious capabilities as well. The light tank will offer modular protection with bolt-on retrofitable armor. The tank's frontal 60-degree arc will have protection of Stenag Level 4 and Stenag Level 2 elsewhere. The light tank will have hull co-developed by DIDO and LNT and it will house an 800 horsepower engine optimized for high attitude. The engine will be provided by German firm MTU, which is a subsidiary of Rolls-Royce. The tank will feature a 105 mm high-pressure main gun and 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun. The 105 mm gun will be made by Belgian firm John Cockrell Defense SA, which can fire at a 42 degree elevation suited for the mountain warfare. The tank will feature many next-generation niche technologies such as artificial intelligence, drone integration, active protection system, and high degree of situational awareness. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.